All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And today we're going to be taking our first look at Arrow's classic uniform. Now, I'm aware that Arrow isn't the most popular character, so this video might not be for everyone. And to make matters worse, she is a paywall character, so she's pretty expensive to invest in. I myself spent 70 bucks to pick up a mega uniform upgrade ticket for her so we could get the uniform to mythic just because of the fact that i like arrow i like her play style she's pretty cool and i wanted to see if she can actually be a force to be reckoned with because the only thing she's gonna offer right now is dps and we have so many good characters in the game that can do that so i want to see if she can do that at a top tier level where she can compete with some of the better free to play characters in the game so if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and smash the like button for the uh two arrow fans out there like myself all right so we're gonna check her out today she did get a significant buff in this new uniform giving her damage reduction as a uniform bonus and then on top of that they increased her damage accumulation added a heal and also gave her immunity on her forge skill to bump up her survivability i think the net marble devs knew what they were doing with this one because arrow she was lacking in the dps department before but what was i guess the most um annoying part about the character was it was hard to keep her alive so they gave her a 15 percent hp recovery which is dope and it's on arguably one of her most useful skills which is the skill that has the damage accumulation speaking of the accumulation in this new uniform now they actually went ahead and they made it so that the accumulation actually how many times are you gonna say actually right activates as soon as you press the skill i'm not sure if you guys noticed that but look carefully from the second i tap the third skill the accumulation activates right away you might be saying why is that a big deal well on the base kit for arrow that was actually not the case before you actually had to hit the target just for her accumulation to go off and if you're using her with a damage proc which is what i'm going to be using her with today that's going to be a problem for you because of the fact that when you hit the target there is a chance see look at when i press the third skill and look at when the accumulation popped up in the corner here right you have to actually make contact with one of the target as soon as you do the first hit then your accumulation will activate but if you're using here with a regular damage proc what can happen there is your damage proc can activate and you do not want that to happen you don't want it to activate on your third skill you actually want it to activate on your fifth skill because that's where the majority of your damage is now there's two rotations that you can use for arrow one of them is high risk high reward and one is safe and reliable and i think regardless of whether or not you have the character with the uniform the rotations are not changing so at tier two without the awakened skill this is the high risk high reward uh rotation meaning you try to stack as many skills and on the proc as possible or you go for the safe one i'll show you the safe one after but three five that's the safe rotation right you make contact with the third activate the accumulation and then do the five right no, but you have to do it really quickly. You go three, soon as you see the, see right there, I canceled too quickly, right? You have to, right there, as soon as you see her make contact, that's when you actually go ahead and, hold on, let me move. Uh, okay. I wanted to move one guy away from everybody else so I can show you guys something. Okay. Um, arrow can you yeah move this guy over here okay so this is the high risk high reward rotation so you go three make contact then you launch the air ball and then you try to proc on five because then you have the four and the five hitting at the same time which will give you maximum dps however the first hit from the third can activate your proc and then there are seven additional hits from the fourth skill that can activate your proc all right, let me just wait until the ball goes away here and then you can see what I'm talking about. Before she kicks the ball up in the air, there's seven hits. But after that, there's like 15 hits. Actually, more than that, right? So if you could actually do the three, then the four, and then proc on five, all without missing your damage proc every single time, go with that rotation. Even without the uniform, or if you have the uniform the rotation can be the same 
the good thing about the uniform is you can just instantly cancel the um the third skill and still get the accumulation so that first hit that you were required to have without the uniform you do not have to have that with the uh new uniform but you still have those seven hits like six or seven hits so you kind of have to worry about that in my opinion you should go for the safe route because every time you miss your damage block your overall damage is going down now if you have her awaken which ultimately if you're buying the uniform and investing so much in the character already you want to awaken her dope thing about arrow is you can instantly cancel her awakened skill not sure if you noticed there but let me show you something right this is an iframe you can sit in it until she comes down but when you sit in it you're actually not doing anything right so look at that all i have to do is move the d-pad and then i can run out of the skill and then the skill continues wave and sword master they're doing their thing so it depends if you need the survivability you can sit in the awakened skill and get the survivability or what you can actually do is just instantly cancel it look at this let me show you guys something so even without jumping in the air like this for her to fire down that air ball you'll actually get that air attack to go off even if you do this okay let me get out of that because realistically she's just wasting time we go six and then five do you see that look behind her right when i went six and then five the air ball still spawned behind her even though i wasn't up there to throw it down so look look at the fifth skill there's nothing behind her right and then if i do six and then five there's the air ball coming down even though i didn't jump up with arrow like this to throw it down so instantly cancel so what that means is when you have her awaken you can just get me out let me out when you have her awaken you can go something like this three six five proc i would not recommend when you have her awaken to go three six four and then five no it's too much okay unless you have a rage all right that, unless you have a rage i think you'll get enough damage off of her with the accumulation and with the uh six and five going at the same time if you have chain hit on your cdbf energy that would be pretty dope but let's test her out let's see how much she's actually improved dps and survivability wise with just the uniform without the awakened skill okay next video we'll take a look at her in war boss legend against null and mephisto i think that'll be pretty interesting and i do want to actually work on her type but we'll do that later dope thing about arrow is you can use her with white fox because she does have leadership so we're going Nick Fury, White Fox, Stage 99, Call Obsidian, no Strikers, because I need you guys to see her survivability and damage on full display. And you can kind of see already that um, just needing to make contact with the enemy is risky business because she's charging into the boss and she took damage there and she does not have a heal and she instantly died let me give you guys the instant replay because honestly that's something that's gonna happen to you with the base kit quite often that's why they gave her damage reduction now that's why they gave her immunity on the fourth and the heal because she needed all of that okay so we're gonna go three make contact we get the accumulation proc on five then we use four then we run away we do not use two and one we go again three make contact Proc and run away. Okay, she reactivated the proc there. That's kind of unfortunate. Go three. Make contact. Um, okay. Damage is kind of mid. We make contact. Proc was late there. I'm just gonna give her maybe two minutes to do some damage and then we're just gonna <laughs> swap. It's unfortunate that this is how she is. I'm not too sure why in the new uniform they decided to work on the two skill, but I guess we can kind of incorporate it because of the fact that we get immunity. Because what we are gonna do. 
Okay. We'll focus on the uniform when we get to it. For now, let's just try keeping her alive. Okay, the proc did not activate. With the proc not coming on time, maybe we could go like this? See, like, I tried to do something cheeky and it just doesn't work out. I thought, okay, with the proc coming late, let's go ahead and try and squeeze in the four before the five. No. And then this time the proc doesn't come. Like, yeah, she she is annoying to keep alive and annoying to proc with without the uniform. It's just what it is. Okay, so what we're going to do here is three, five, four, and two. Again, like I said, if you want to go with the high risk, high reward rotation, you can go with three, four, five, two completely up to you but using the four right after the five gives us immunity and then we can use the immunity and then use the uh two skill right after and then charge at the enemy because the two skill only offers a guard so just keep that in mind and we do want to use the two skill just because it gives us a 50 percent attack buff or sorry an attack proc so we go three five proc on five then we come down we use the four and then we use the two with that wind guard dash. Alright, then we go three, five again, four, two, then we use the wind dash. Before we could not use that because we didn't have any protection on the forward skill. So even it just getting the uh forward skill off safely was hard enough. So you can kind of see why they buff the two skill because now she's actually quite good. Well, it's it's relative, right? Can we actually break? Wow, we broke the guard. And that's something you got to give her some credit. Before she was not doing that, All right? They ramped up the accumulation. Come on guys, you gotta give her some props for that. Right? She's a lot safer. A lot more fun to play. If I do say so myself. And you spend less time running away and more time attacking, which is what you want. Right? So that's dope. Like, in the same amount of well actually, <laughs> is in less time she did more damage. She actually was safer and she killed the boss versus dying. So Again, like I said, Arrow isn't the most popular character, but if you're an Arrow fan, this uniform is actually a good upgrade. So I don't regret spending the money to test her out because this is a good upgrade. 0% ignore dodge, 130 attack speed, crit rate is fine because she gives herself a crit rate buff. As you can see, 35% here, we're running a 200% crit damage proc. And this is a power of Angry Hulk with some uh, six star energy attack and crit damage. I'm pretty sure I'm over on crit damage though, like well over, yeah, 20% over. So we got to fix that up. Anyways, let's try a route against Corvus, see how it looks. So the strikers are only here, so we don't have to deal with any variables from the ignore dodge when we do bring the base kit back in. Be mindful of that. Also, we could do more damage if we, um. What you call it if we are using fury's buff but we're just not going to use it okay 24 seconds to kill keep that in mind boys i look forward to getting that six skill seeing how much that changes her Where you going, buddy boy? <laughs> this guy tried to hit me with that fire wave. It just wasn't happening. Okay, I was gonna use 3-5, but he might have clapped me if I did. Okay, 59 seconds. So, again, it is definitely a big upgrade to get the uniform. And then also we have to worry about 
move. No damage reduction, no healing. Yikes. It's definitely a more stressful experience to play her without the uniform, I'll tell you that for free. Knowing that you cannot recover any HP, that alone. And because we did make contact right there, notice we didn't get the accumulation, even though the skill went on cooldown. So it requires contact. It doesn't just require the skill actually going off, it requires that you make contact with the enemy. So that's a big problem in itself. Because that skill has pretty much no protection on it. You can see the difference in damage. And then you can also see the difference in her survivability. Yikes, boys. I'm pretty sure we're going to die. One more hit from the boss and we're just cooked. The loose is just cooked, boys. Oh, we got a tag. Fury shook that off. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's double the time. Pretty much is gonna be that. And then like... In addition to that... We are pretty much on our last leg. Which, come on. This is... This is... A struggle. Yeah, like, ooh, okay, okay. Even the mob's about to kill us, boys. Okay, she's dead. Whoa! Okay, never mind. She did not die. This is such a struggle. Okay, so we managed to do it, but it was like a whole minute slower. And you can see that for yourself. That was a big struggle. Again, I know she's not the most popular character, but if you like her, you can clearly see that they did indeed tweak her. Even though the visuals, you might not see as big a change as you may have hoped for in terms of like how she plays and how she looks. But you can definitely see that there is substance there okay but before you could safely actually not even not even i was gonna say before you could safely use two skills but realistically you could only safely use one skill meaning the only skill that was safe to use was the uh fifth skill because it has invincibility using the third skill you can get hit on the way to the enemy and you could die versus now you do not need to actually make contact you just pop the third jump into the five that gives you invincibility you come out of the five into the four that gives you immunity and then you can use the two skill i know bosses can penetrate immunity and invincibility but if that happens you have a heal and then on her uniform bonus you also have damage reduction so overall very good upgrade for the character okay can't be can't be biased boys anyways let me show you guys the uh uniform options we got human torch which is really good then we have ant-man which is actually pretty terrible i guess i should upgrade this one yeah i should have i'll do it i'll do it and then what else we got got dormammu it's pretty good if you care about i guess ac and the next one is rogue that's outdated so that's kind of bad and then last one is yelena yelena the fact that they put a premium characters uniform in here it's kind of scummy, but at least Yelena is good. And this is arguably her best uniform, the white suit. Okay, so we'll wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to smash that like button. Help your boy out in the algorithm. All right, I'm gone.